Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am six weeks pregnant and I'm starting to look pregnant. It's kind of freaking me out. I don't know if it's just bloat or if it's my actual pregnant belly, but even my husband noticed it. He was like, you're starting to look a little bit round. And I'm like, I know, <laughs> what is that? I'm only six weeks. So Monday was my birthday and also I uh, had some bleeding that day. Uh, this always happens, like every pregnancy this is what happens. I always bleed about my fifth, sixth week. I always go to the ER. I always get my Rogam shot and then I'm fine. So Monday I have the bleeding like I always do. And because my doctor doesn't see me until about eight weeks, um, I didn't want to wait that long to get my Rogam shot. So I just went ahead and got it. The sooner the better. That's what I heard uh, one obstetrician say. The sooner you can get your Rogam shot, the better. Uh, so I went and I got it. And uh, of course they did what they always have to do. They uh, did an ultrasound and they um, did blood work and all that fun stuff. And I didn't see the baby, but they told me that it was one baby. And they couldn't see the actual fetus, but they saw the sac and said there's only one sac, uh, which is good. However, uh, on the ultrasound, they saw a little, uh, I can't say the first part of, of this word, but it's basically a hemorrhage around the sac of the baby and the ER doctor told me to be on pelvic rest. Basically just told me to take it easy until my uh, first prenatal appointment. So that's what I've been doing. And the ble there's been no more bleeding. I've been really crampy, but no bleeding. So that's a good thing. As far as pregnancy symptoms go, oh my gosh, you guys, this kid is trying to kill me. Um, <laughs> it's This kid acts like I'm in my third trimester and I'm not, I'm six weeks. I don't know what this baby's doing to me. I don't usually have the symptoms that I'm having right now until I'm in my third trimester or at all. Like for instance, I did not crave onions with Carly and Kenley. <laughs> I never craved anything weird with them ever. This is so weird for me. So I keep eating raw onion like today. We had tacos for dinner and what did I put on my tacos? Onion. Also, I'm starting to get heartburn. I don't get heartburn when I'm not pregnant at all. Uh, actually, the first time I was ever pregnant, I looked at Devin and I was like, there's something going on. Like, my my throat and my uh, chest is burning. And he goes, that's probably heartburn. And I was like, no, 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 like it's burning, like there's fire. And he's like, that's heartburn. I had no idea what that even felt like until he told me. Uh, I just don't get it. And I'm, I'm getting heartburn right now at six weeks pregnant that I don't normally get until my third trimester. The fatigue still hasn't hit me. I still don't have that crazy pregnancy fatigue that I had with the girls. With the girls, I was napping when they were napping. If Carly went down for a nap, I went down for a nap. When I was pregnant with Carly, I took a couple naps during the day. Like, I was tired. And I'm not tired like that with this baby. Um, I am a little tired, but not to the extreme of how I felt with the girls. I don't know how to explain it to you all. I really don't. Um, I'm only tired because I'm getting those crazy pregnancy nightmares. You know what I'm talking about? The ones that like freak you out. Those. And I wake up like three times in the middle of the night. So it's not that I'm tired because of the hormones that are making me tired. I'm tired because I wake up three times in the middle of the night, at least. And I can tell that that's it because with Carly and Kinley, I was exhausted no matter what. But if I managed to get a good night's sleep, like I have a couple of times this week, I'm fine. I'm not tired during the day, none of that. That's one symptom I don't have to deal with, hallelujah. Also, an update on my weight. Uh, my pre-pregnancy was 145. Last week I told you I was 146 is what I think I told you all. Yeah, I was 146. Today I am 150. Mmm, you all. Um, <laughs> I have busted my butt to lose the weight that I did. And if you haven't seen my weight loss video, it's on my channel. Just scroll through it. It's right there. Um, I'll leave a link it below if you want to look at it. But I worked really hard to lose 75 plus pounds. And I know I'm pregnant. I get all that. I know I'm supposed to gain weight. I get all that. I really do. Trust me. I have kids. But I'm only six weeks. <laughs> and I did not gain this early with the girls. Carly, I didn't start gaining until I was about 10 weeks-ish. And... McKinley was the same way because I actually lost eight pounds with McKinley. I was so sick and my appetite was so gone that I lost eight pounds and then I started to gain about, again, 10 weeks. I'm just shocked as all. I'm not like disappointed or upset or anything. It's just like really shocking. I've not been as nauseous lately. I still am nauseous, just not as bad. Uh, the past couple of weeks I've been so sick that I could just 
almost throw up. It was like right there on the verge. This week, not so much. I, it still comes and goes. It's still there, but it's not so bad that I'm like, oh, Devin, I'm about to go throw up like right now. It's not quite that bad. My boobs aren't sore. TMI. I'm sorry, you all. I get, I keep it real around here. But my nipples are. Like, they're so sensitive, I, like, want to cry just the thought of them being touched. It's weird and horrible. <laughs> and I'm already starting to lactate a little bit. Like, I was taking a shower earlier, and I was standing there, and I started leaking. And I was like, great. <laughs> oh, this isn't fun. <laughs> I've been really emotional this week. Uh, I, another thing that does not happen until I'm in my third trimester, if at all, because with McKinley, I don't remember wanting to cry as much as I do right now. Um, Carly, I only cried for like a couple of days. I was in my like seventh month, I think it was, and uh, Devin was going to work, and I would cry every time he had to go to work because I loved him so much. <laughs> I still love him, you guys. Uh, but... I love him so much, and I just wanted him to be home with me and the baby, and uh, I, I don't know why. I cried. I bawled my eyes out every time he left for like two, three days straight. Uh, but that's the only time I've ever been emotional and wanted to cry my eyes out during pregnancy. So this is also a strange, I don't know what's going on, weird thing for me, because um, I don't experience that. I've been watching a lot of pregnancy movies, too, like Baby Mama and Juno. I love Juno. I love that movie. Um, I've been watching a lot of those. I usually do, though, when I'm pregnant. I don't know why, but I, uh, I love watching that stuff. If we had cable, I'll tell you what I would watch. I would watch Baby Story, and anything to do with having a baby that's on TV, that's what I would be watching. Uh, we just choose not to have cable, because we have Netflix and Hulu, so why even bother with that bill? But if we did, that's what I would be watching all the time. Um, instead, I get on YouTube and I uh, watch birth videos because, I don't know, it's like getting confidence that you could do this, you could do this, you could do this. Look at all of the women that have done it before you. Kristen, you've done this twice already, so <laughs> you can do it. There's still like that panic in the back of the head that's like, oh man, what if you have a C-section? Oh man, what if, you know, the amnesia hormones that hit after you have a baby that make you just forget everything? What if you really can't handle it? <laughs> It's there. It's in the back of my head. I know that I can, but it's there. And I guess watching that kind of stuff makes me feel better. I think that's what it is. So I've thought really hard this week, and I have finally come up with a gender reveal idea. I'm not going to tell y'all what it is, and I'm not going to even give you any hints or anything like that, but I have come up with an idea. And it's really cute, and I'm really excited, and I can't wait. Again, we're not finding out the gender of this baby until like the last week of September, the first week of October, somewhere in there. I can't give you an exact date because I don't know when she's going to, you know, make that appointment. But it's somewhere in there. The video will come after the ultrasound. I don't know how soon, I just know it will come after the ultrasound. And I will announce it to everybody what we're having, boy or girl. First prenatal appointment is in 12 days. I'm so excited. I can't wait. They're doing an ultrasound so we get to see baby for the first time and make sure it's in there and it's okay and it's heartbeats there. Um, I just, I can't wait. I love ultrasounds even when you can't hardly see anything and there's not much to see. I still love ultrasounds. Uh, I'll also be vlogging about that. So be sure to look for that vlog. It's coming up in about 12, 13 days, depending on how soon I can get it edited and uploaded and all that fun stuff. Uh, but be looking for that because it is coming up soon. Now I'm going to do a belly shot and show you all my belly. I don't know how well you guys can see, but I feel a little bit rounder this week. Do you see it or is it all in my head? Like, I feel bigger right here. But this is where we are at six weeks exactly. And I feel so pregnant this week. In my head, I'm like, I'm going to be huge. Like, I'm going to get really big. I normally do get big when I'm pregnant, but this baby's, I'm going to get huge. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.